All right, so in this example, we're going to apply some of the things we just we just learned. And um, if if you want to try this on your own, you are more than welcome to pause the video right here and and work through this on your own. Um, uh, otherwise, you can keep going or or pause the video and come back. But the first thing we're asked to do is just to sketch this graph. So um, let me draw the x and y axes here. So there's the y axis. And let's make that the x axis. So in order to sketch this graph, probably the easiest thing would just be to find a few points and plot them. So um, I'll just go ahead and make a little table of x and f of x. Okay, and I'll just pick some numbers to evaluate this function at. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so when I put in 3, you know, I square that 9, um, plus 3 is 12, so you get 13. So I will just fill in this table. I've already calculated these values, and I will fill, the, fill it in here for you. I won't talk through each one of <laughs> my calculations. Okay, so I just chose some integer values to um, to evaluate. But I notice here too, I've got two values at one. And, um, you know, I know that this is a parabola and it's got to be symmetric, right? So it's probably symmetric at a half. So I'm also going to fit in uh, f at one half. And it turns out that if I evaluate this at one half, I get one half. Okay, so let's plot those points. So let's say, um, okay, let's say this is one half and this is one, and then this was one and a half, and this is two. And over here, let's go, let's say this is minus one. And we need to, okay, so I'm going to go by halves again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be three, and this will be two, and this will be one. All right, so at zero, we're at one, so we have that point. At one half, we're at one half, and at one, we're at one. So symmetric about one half. And then at two, we're at three. So I'll come up here and put a point here. And at minus one, we're also at three. So I get another point over here. All right, so now I just need to connect those points, right? And that gives us the shape of the graph. So and it's a quadratic function, so we know it's a parabola. So uh, it's kind of tricky to draw with this pen. All right, <laughs> I guess that's good enough. All right, so we're out. We're, we're asked to sketch the graph. So okay, that's a pretty sketchy graph. So <laughs> I guess it's good enough. And then we want to draw the tan tangent line at x equals zero. So here's this point where x equals zero, zero comma one, right? And um, too bad my my, uh, okay, so there's that point, and then I want to draw the tangent line. So let's see if I can draw a reasonably straight line at that point. Yeah, it kind of goes like that, right? So <laughs> you get the idea. Anyway, you can, you can probably draw a, a better sketch than I can. All right, well, we've taken care of, of, um, of part A, just sketching the graph. All right, the next uh, uh, question asks us to write an equation for the line tangent to um, the, fun the function at x equals zero. All right, well, if we're gonna write the tangent line, we need the slope, right? So f prime of x, we gotta take the derivative. That's easy enough, it's a polynomial. So we get two x minus one. So our f prime at zero, when we put zero in for x, we get negative one, and that's the slope of our that we're going to use for the tangent line. And then uh, we also need a point. That would help. So we can evaluate f at 0. And when we put 0 in for x into the original function, f of x, we get 1. All right, so there's our point, which also happens to be the y-intercept. And that's just because uh, intercept. That's just because we're, we're um, the tangent line is at x equals zero. So if it was some other point other than x equals zero, you might have to use the point slope form of a line to figure out the tangent line. 
but because we're given the y-intercept and we have the slope, we can just use the, the uh, y equals mx plus b form of a line. So the tangent line, tangent line is y equals minus x plus 1. Okay, so that's an equation for the tangent line. And the next um, part of the question is asking us to find the tangent line approximation. So we're going to use that formula that we just came up with, right? So we have um, f of x, let me write this down, f of x is approximately equal to f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x minus 0. Or, yeah, x minus 0. And if we clean that up a little bit, we get f of x is equal to, approximately equal to, now we know f of 0 is 1. We know f prime of 0 is minus 1, and then x minus 0 is just x. So basically we have 1 minus x, which is the same, right? It's the same, the same as above. So you can see this, this tangent line, oops, this tangent line approximation is just the tan, it's, uh, this, yeah, the tangent line approximation is just a tangent line at that point. Um, okay, and then um, part D is asking us to use the tangent line approximation um, to approximate the value of f of x at x equals 0 0.15. And then we're also asked to, to um, find, uh, to, to determine whether that's an over or an underestimate. All right, well, um, we're going to use the tangent line approximation, right? So I'm going to put the value, oops, gosh, um, 0 0.15 into x. Um, but I'm putting it into the tangent line approximation, so it's basically 1 minus x. So I get 1 minus 0 0.15, and that is 0 0.85. All right, so we're using the tangent line to approximate the value. And if you go back and look at the, the graph that we drew, you can see, now it's a little bit, <laughs> my drawing isn't, isn't great, but this, this graph of the parabola is what we call, we call it concave up, right? But um, if I had drawn this properly, <laughs> this tangent line, maybe I'll make it use, use a different color. This tangent line is just tangent at that one point, right? And other than that one point, the tangent line is below the curve of the graph, okay? So if it's below, if the tangent line is below the curve of the graph, then the value at the tangent line is less than the value uh, um, of of the actual curve, the actual function. So that tells us that our tangent line approximation is an underestimate. Okay, so let me write that down. So the tangent line is below the graph of, of the function of f of x. So um, this is an underestimate, all right? And then finally, we're asked to find the error. So we want to find basically the difference between the actual value at 0 0.15 and the approximation that we just found. So our error at this point, um, 0 0.15, is equal to f at 0 0.15 minus the value we just found, so 0 0.85. So if I evaluate the original function, we had x squared, so I got 0 0.15 squared minus x, 0 0.15, oops, um, plus 1, and then we want to subtract 0 0.85. So when we evaluate the actual actual value of the function at 0.15, um, we get 0 0.8725. And then if we take the difference between that and uh, 0 0.85, we get that the error is 0 0.0225.
All right, so you should be ready to start the discussion questions. You can look ahead at the discussion questions, and um, but you'll have an opportunity in class then to work um, with some of your classmates and um, with me to get them completed. And um, I will see you in class.